Right, welcome back to our mat side studio here at the Nippon Budokan. It's the end of day five. All the medal matches have taken place. We're about to do a reveal. Just going to ask Lance, who's helping us out here, if you could do the wide angle lens so we could get Dennis van der Geest's head in because <laughs> his, his man won the gold medal. And I'm sure that when we hand him the microphone, he's going to say, I told you so this morning, probably in a lower <laughs> voice and much, much bigger than that. So why don't we start with Dennis van der Geest? He must be so happy. Why not? Yes, really happy. Uh, after 12 years, uh, uh, world champion men, last one was uh, Ruben Hauker, so that's a long, long time ago. And I think uh, Noel van Den really deserved it. Showed some uh, absolutely great judo. Um, and I think he's the example of a rule that everybody who is competing at a high level has to put in his head. You don't have to be the best judoka in the world, you just have to win the competition. And uh, uh, you, uh, for example, Ono, if you call him 365 days a year, he will win, possibly. But if you do this uh, uh, competition, 90 kilos to, uh, today, if you do it tomorrow, there will be a different winner. There, will, there were like three world champions, Shirazadishvili, Kwak, uh, Maidov. You have Toth silver medal, the Cuban silver medal. There are so many players who are capable of winning this. And in the end, it was Noel van den End in the semi-final had a real tough fight against Maidov. I know Noel trained for a year on his Kumikata because that was uh, always the, the point that, uh, that uh, he, he loses his, uh, his fights because of Kumikata. He was capable of doing the Kumikata right and the moment Maidov just opened up one time because he was, they were really close to, uh, to giving uh, Noel a third Shido and then he throw him with an absolutely brilliant hip on. So yeah. Happy for Dutch judo, really good, and uh, I think uh, uh, a well-deserved winner. Right, okay, Loretta Cusat-Dole, you might want to come in there as well. Have you got a few All words I to say, say on that? All I can say is I can feel the love coming from this man. <laughs> he is the, his heart is just coming from the sleeve. But that's what we were just saying. It was about passion here today for Noel. Uh, uh, for me, he, he was consistent right from, the, right from the beginning to the end. And that combination in the final, the Oso Tagari off one side, Osota then switched it, changing feet for the Kosota and finishing off, just taking him off to the side, clipping that shoulder. It was a wonderful end to what was a really grueling match throughout. And but his performance reflected that right through the whole day. He looked a real contender, big heart, big ability, and now he's got a big medal around his neck. Tell us a little bit, Neil, about Mukai because he wasn't fancied this this morning but there he was right at the end came pretty close I still don't fancy him <laughs> no, no, but I mean I think the thing is about Mukai is, is that if you have a look how disappointed he was there he was really disappointed because he, he, he wasn't probably the most fancy Japanese coming into the tournament but he fought really really well today got some great ippons and um, like Dennis said you know you get um, the Japanese are able to throw and you know when they were walking out and we said uh, this is going to be like different styles and uh, two different uh, approaches to this uh, match and no event to end, uh, uh, and I agree uh, 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 wholeheartedly uh, with what's been said. You know, he just dug in there, you know, and showed how to win a tournament, you know, and and I thought that that was brilliant. I, I, I really did. And he can throw from different angles, you know. He was coming from different angles, and I, I said it all the way through the day. You know, it doesn't look as if sometimes it should coordinate, but it does. Uh, then he makes an alteration or, or a, a changes, uh, you know, his body position to make it work, you know. And and actually, what it does show is that it doesn't have to be pure judo all the time, but what it does need to be is effective. And Noel Van to end today was very, very effective. And I'm very, very happy for him because that was, um, you know, he's always threatened it. And I put him down as my uh, my person that was going to come through as yeah. uh, as, as somebody that with a chance, uh, yeah, an outsider. Well, I think also, uh, oh, Tim. Um, if you look at Mukai, um, I think, uh, I, I don't know how much kilo he weighs, but you can see that he's not strong enough, not uh, big enough. He's the, uh, the Japanese, if, if, if I was his coach, I would say to him, like, the next year, I don't know if they send him to the Olympics or there you go for Mashubaker, uh, Baker, um, but uh, he has to be in, uh, in weight training. 
for a year, I think, because you can see his judo is good enough with the shoulder throw. Uh, on the other side, he has the katakuruma. Never worked today, I think, because he just, you see, he has, he, he lacks power. And uh, uh, we've seen a lot of Japanese with absolutely brilliant technique who are good enough without uh, the strength of maybe a European style fighter and they still can win. But Mukai is in, in also in his judo, not good enough. So he needs a little bit extra and that's what he lacks uh, uh, today. You should be his coach. You're right, though. You know, <laughs> yeah. he should. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, no, but, yeah, no, but uh, you're dead right. You know, the physicality of the Europeans, and we were saying that, you know, they're still leading, but um, uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Visa, Maris Visa, uh, the president of the IJF, said at the beginning, he said, we know that the Japanese are going to be a force to be reckoned with, but uh, we, we're going to have a lot of, of the Europeans and, and the other uh, fighters chasing them hard and that's exactly what's happening here and they're being chased hard and the physicality sometimes does let them down and um, you know I thought that uh, Noel Van to end today showed um, just that you know he, he was very physical he just dug in and uh, he showed out to win a contest brilliant okay we're gonna take a look at the under 70 kilo category the medal winners uh, in there let's start with uh, Loretta well, I'm <laughs> you're trying to give me two mics now. No, I was delighted with the performances from the, the ladies themselves. And um, what you have is Sally Conway, who took the, the bronze medal, one of the one bronze medal. Now she's got the Olympic and European, and she's also now got a bronze medal for the collection. She, It was a relief, I think, for Sally, because um, one of the things that I do like about her is that she's very consistent. She trains so hard, and um, she's she's got a big heart as well as that big smile and when it came down to she was disappointed obviously not get to get into the to the um, final but then she dug in deep and this is the biggest turnaround I've seen over the years with Sally since the Olympic Games before that she'd lose a, a, a sort of quarterfinal stage that would be her done her, she really would lose all confidence and it would be hard for her to pick herself back up but over those years you see the strength and the belief in her, her ability coming through and she's a real contender every time that maturity is really starting to shine out and we will I, I really believe we'll see her taking another Olympic medal okay and uh, about the winner and with the winner guy for me there was no stopping her and i think timo went into that final she'd got her medal i think when she got into the final that was it done and dusted really guy he never really had a challenge at all in that um, final she made it look easy and um, throughout the day she it was just one round after another i don't think she was really challenged at all i think the draw and the way it was going was suiting her more and more when um the the number one seed from japan went out i think that was just her birthday and christmas all wrapped up in one really for her dennis did you get the feeling that timo was you know um, happy days to just to be in the final. Well, uh, I think she had a really good fight against Arai. I think Arai's problem is that she needs too much time for uh, for uh, attacking. So every time, you know, she needs two or three seconds if, she, uh, if the right grip is there, then still she needs a lot of time to get in with a throw. And uh, what, uh, what Timo really did well was every time when she felt that uh, the pressure was there from Arai, she was the one who, uh, who attacked. And, uh, uh, well, you can have Shido's on the board, I uh, understandable, but if you score a Wazari, you know, it's really hard these days to get it back because you have a lot of um, uh, time and if you make like a few more efforts, then it, uh, it's, uh, it's possible to, uh, to win this fight. For Arai, uh, she didn't look in her, her best form and uh, I think it's also the pressure of that uh, red back patch. I think we also saw it with uh, Shirazadishvili. It gives a lot of extra pressure and uh, so uh, uh, I think uh, for what you say in the final, it wasn't really a final. I think she already was really happy with the silver medal and uh, so she did not make a real good fight out of it. One thing I want to say, I saw Kim Polling lose today for uh, the standing uh, arm lock. We saw it uh, before with uh, Tristenjak. Um, harsh decision afterwards because you're completely out of uh, the tournament. I know for sure uh, Kim Polling does not do that on purpose. It just happens, you know, you slip away. But you see more and more uh, attacks by judo players 
with the risk of having an unstanding arm lock. So I would say to the judoka who have like like the one armed uh, seo uh, nages or things like that, where the risk of getting this penalty is uh, is high, put them out of your system, because we see it more and more often. Tristenja could not even fight for the bronze medal. Did she do it on purpose? No, but it was a, uh, it, it is a technique and you know that the chance is there that it will happen. Put it out of your, uh, your, your system. Don't do these techniques anymore because the penalty is really, really hard. I agree with you in, entirely there. And for, for people of the, of the quality of the Olympic champion, Tina Thurston Yak, the experience of Kim Polly, for, for me, it's a bit of a surprise. And, and, and as you say, the penalty is ultimate. You're out. Yep. OK, Neil, um, we were talking about the French not having come to the par party. We've got to get, get rid of that one now, yeah. especially after we had Clerget, uh, Pinot, and Marie-Yves Gahi all today, and Clarissa Begninu yesterday. They, they've really um, come on strong, haven't they? I mean, we were saying, weren't we, earlier that they, uh, they're struggling in, in certain weight categories. They're certainly struggling with the men to find the consistency with the medals at the highest level. But I think that, um, you know, you, you get somebody um, like Gahi, who always has threatened to do a big, you know, tournament win, and, um, and today it was going to happen because all the uh, top favourites went out and, and so there she was against Timo and Timo um, we've already said that she was kind of happy to be there but she performed way outside you know uh, uh, like uh, she excelled herself I thought that she was incredible you know so she needs a special mention Sally Conway as well you know what a bronze medal for her you know it's, uh, it's got the whole set and uh, so she did extremely well and two French on that uh, rostrum uh, to finish off and that was remarkable well, they, they've got a bit of a problem haven't they because the one that got the bronze medal is still the highest uh, uh, world ranked so they've got to decide which one's going to go to the Olympic Games but that's a nice decision for them to make okay we look forward to your company again tomorrow when we bring you all the action from the sixth day of competition at the Nippon Budokan we'll have the under 78 kilo category and the under 100 uh, kilo category. We will begin at 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock midday tomorrow, but from Dennis van der Geest, Neil Adams and Loretta Cusack-Doll, it's bye-bye for now.